Okay. Anyway, this is probably gonna go up on YouTube, so let's let's be serious. I'm gonna be serious. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the way to farm Samara Strep for anyone who needs to. Uh, it's very, very simple to do. All you need is Zavara and a gun that can kill things on the steel path that you've silenced. Or can already be silenced. Either way. Or you can kill these enemies with Avara's 4. Really, whatever you prefer. Kuba Nukor is very fast. Uh, and then for Avara, all you really need is a lot of efficiency. The other stats don't really matter. Uh, but Prime Flow is super, super helpful. Uh, everything else is pretty whatever. Not going to matter here. Energize also helpful if you happen to have it, but it's super not needed. Uh, and then there's a specific mission to do for this that is going to give you a lot of Samaras Strap. Also, you're going to want a lot of Samaras scans for this. Preferably the unlimited battery that you can buy from him. So if you don't have it, buy it first. Uh, and then all we're going to do is we are going to go to the Kuba Fortress. And the mission is Dakata. However... You can do this mission on regular mode, but over here, Steel Path mode will increase the XP you get. So if you can kill Steel Path enemies easily, then you're going to want to do it on Steel Path mode, uh, as it's going to get you a lot more rep a lot faster. Anyway, just start this up. Be sure you're on solo or invite only. Either way. Yeah, double scans. Can also take that both are very good on then whenever you start in here uh if you have zenerik use that you don't have zenerik throw a pad down just to get some starting energy is usually what i do my intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area but i am unable to pinpoint their exact then of course you're going to need your scanner so the reason we choose this mission is because the cameras and turrets are considered to be regular enemies and are going to give us a lot of rep along with the actual enemies giving us rep and there's a few other quirky things to note about this as well so each enemy is going to give us 384 or more uh or 382 is the minimum actually the power claws are slightly higher but 380 for all intents and purposes per each enemy that we scan and a quirk of this is that after we move on through the level uh, enemies are going to start trying to move through to the end of the level uh, that have already been scanned and have had to have been moved up in spawns because the game doesn't want you uh, to go backwards, essentially. It doesn't want to force you to do that. You, could, you don't have to kill them as you are going through here. You can just move on to the next group. You should be able to see through walls with a scanner if need be, or you can kind of feel it out as you get used to the tile set where enemies are going to be. There we go. Scanning all the enemies you can. Uh, don't worry about scanning any like the control panels and stuff. Uh, anything like the boxes or anything like that is just going to give you very, very little rep. But the enemies are very good. We haven't encountered any turrets yet, unfortunately. But some of the tile set generations can be like a little turret light. That can happen sometimes. There we go. Probably just jump down here. Oh, and you see this guy running? Uh, whenever you see an enemy running and you haven't hit any alarms, that usually means they're headed towards the end of the level, so this can kind of give you a guide on where you're going. Also, in this room, we have a Fortress Scanner. You can see it's worth the same amount uh, as an enemy. So anytime you see those, those are worth scanning. Uh, turrets will give the exact same amount, but you're going to encounter more scanners than anything else. Yeah, whenever you see the enemies running, they're generally headed towards the end of the level as they're trying to get ahead of you so that you can fight them on your way to the exit. So many enemies will head there. So you kind of know where you're going as well. Just due to one of the quirks of the AI. You still have to kill a bunch of dudes, um, but this just basically helps lead you through the level.
now we are at the exit uh so there is a limit to how many enemies can spawn at any given time so once you've made sure you've scanned all the enemies in this room what you have to do is you have to clear the enemies that have spawned so far uh and the, this is actually the main use of avara's noise arrow as you can get all the enemies to walk over to one location then we can sleep them all take out the new core and just buzz away uh, it's worth noting with something like the new core it does have radiation on it so if they do wake up they have a chance that they could trip the alarms just don't let that happen just kill them all before they can turn on any alarms or anything and then your problems will never happen you have to deal with problems if they don't go on and then you'll notice that since we cleared these enemies more enemies have spawned and are or should be basically on their way there they are you can just go back here and start scanning and they will head for the end room as well you can kind of just take pictures as they're walking by and if you miss anyone uh then you'll get them in a second let's go past rep cap no you're still subject to the rep cap you're only going to get that same certain amount per day but it's just much much easier to hit that number all these enemies have been scanned a couple guys in here that got missed And usually about halfway through this is whenever you get uh to your rep cap uh but if you are mr29 or something like that it'll usually take a bit longer than that Oops, wrong. also whenever there's just a small group like this you don't really have to worry too much uh, about it being about sleeping them or anything Couple more enemies spawning. Oh, a bunch of dudes spawned in now. Let's scan all of them that we can. That one's off in there. A couple more in the uh, room right before this one. enemies seem to want to spawn a little bit further back than they usually do usually they just run straight to the end but getting a bunch of dudes back here is pretty whatever as well oh it appears these two are parting the exit as it were here they come though so now we can get them all scanned Be getting close here yeah i'm getting close to my 30k rep that i need probably once i'm done with this room or maybe even slightly before that we'll be done here oh no way before that even so that's uh 30,250 rep in that amount of time which is only seven and a half minutes uh and then now i just need to clean up uh the rest of the enemies so now i don't have to worry about the alarms going off or anything as i already have all my rep uh, so we can kind of just kill them all. Uh, and then you can, it's worth noting I'm not using it here, but I do have it on Ivara. Uh, you can go the finishers and mark for death route for this if you have access to it through Hellman. But it is very much not necessary. Yeah, this gets especially easy whenever the enemies are running in a straight line towards you. To just finish off the uh, rest of the enemies that do not know you're here and are trying to get to the exit to meet you. But they do not see you will kill them. See or hear or feel.
Who's that gun? This is the Kuva Nucor. Also, it's worth noting that you do not want to be caught in the crossfire here, as Avara will likely die. Oh, hello there. It looks like we have the rest of the enemies basically on the way right now. There we go. There we go. Well done. Get to yeah, that only took a little over nine minutes total, and then our Samaras rep is maxed out, which I think is much faster than going after the Samaras targets, but that is also some extra rep you can get there. They fought well. Good dance all. It's worth noting once again that the Kuba Nucor is modded to be silent, otherwise you will uncloak whenever you do that, and you will very likely die. That doesn't take very long at all, though. I'm going to just use Concentrated Arrow. Concentrated Arrow is usually slower than just using the Kuba Nucor. Yeah, once again, this is kind of the important part here. The press being very important. And then the Avara build that I'm using, which is only one Forma, but still a huge overinvestment of mods that are on this build. It has the Avara farm for a uh, smart trap. Hey, what's up, Jim? How you doing? Also, thank you for the huge raid. Sorry I had notifications off. Uh, we were recording a thing for uh, the YouTubes. <laughs> 